Please stand clear of the doors. Por favor, manténganse alejado de las puertas. Please board quickly and safely. Our monorail will be departing momentarily. Thank you. Hey, everybody. Thank you for joining us. Welcome aboard. Uh, this is ResortLoop.com, episode number 23. I'm your host, Tim Scott. And I'm Bob Collar. And today, what are we going to call it today, Bob? Should we call it like our Potpourri Podcast of the Week? That sounds good. Yeah. Get yeah. A, we've got a lot of catching up to do. Uh, we had some illness last week. and oh, had, uh, I'm had still some, not over it. I'm had still some not. issues. We did have issues. You're, yeah, you're, you're going to be uh, stopping in the middle of the cough, I think. I will. I'll try to mute whenever <laughs> possible so, no, so it sounds seamless, being the broadcast well, professional sound- that I am. <laughs> You sound a lot better than you did uh, uh, last week, man. Oh, thank you. Yeah, uh, it was ugly. So glad, glad you're feeling better. Oh, thank glad you. Glad you're very feeling. Much. So, uh, so yeah, uh, we figured we'd just uh, catch up on some stuff. We we got a lot of uh, feedback from from folks about uh, different things, and uh, so uh, we thought we'd uh, we'd catch up on that. So, uh, Tim, you want to start us off? We had uh, something from uh, a friend of ours over in uh, in Ireland, I believe. Yes, from across the pond. I always enjoy getting things yep. from across the pond. I so, so do I. I feel so international. That's so cool. <laughs> it is awesome. I love it very much. <laughs> anyway, this is from Mark. He said, hello from Dublin, Ireland. Your last podcast. Hi, Mark. Hey, Mark. <laughs> Your last podcast mentioned there were no Irish listeners. Did we say that? I don't even remember. We probably did. Just wanted to correct yes. you on that one. Here is one at least. Great podcast, by the way. I've been to Paris and Tokyo Disney a few times. But the first visit for them to Walt Disney World will be in May, and they can't wait. You know, I, that is... Uh, uh, thank you, uh, first off, Mark, for uh, letting us know that uh, you guys are listening in Ireland. We really appreciate that. But, I'm very uh, excited I'm, by I'm, that. I'm, it blows me away. You, I'm, I'm shocked that he hasn't been to uh, to uh, Walt Disney World yet. Usually Walt Disney World... I mean, like, it's cool. Yeah, it's usually your gateway Disney experience. You know, you go yeah. there, and all of a sudden, you know, yeah. you want to go to Disneyland, you want to go to Paris. And he's 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 doing it a little bit backwards, but hey, as long as you go, that's that's very cool. We'd love a uh, a trip report from Tokyo Disney. We we have not been there, uh, and uh, we certainly that's something on our bucket list. Uh, I'd love to hear about Tokyo Disney. Absolutely, and I told cool. him. I said, you know, in the response, I told him, you know, be sure you get with us after you get back because we'd like to, you know, hear his. Uh, comparisons and contrast between all three of those parks absolutely absolutely by the way everybody uh just a we we really appreciate all of our listeners uh we are we are just overwhelmed by uh, how many people are, are listening to us uh we've we are now heard uh i know you know this tim but yes. uh, we are now heard in 15 countries and uh i and can't in believe 40 th- i know and in 43 of these united states we still have to crack uh, Australia. I want Australia bad. I want Australia bad. <laughs> Australia and Even, New Zealand, the Kiwis. Absolutely. And uh, and uh, any of the South Pacific Islands, we do have Hawaii. We appreciate it, all you guys in Hawaii. Um, and we're in uh, 43 United States. So uh, uh, I, I, I do have a question, though. What's going on with Utah? How come nobody in Utah is listening to us? I don't know. I'm they're, disappointed they're, in that. I'll be honest. Utah, you got to represent I, I know. <laughs> I've been to Utah. I love Utah. Somebody I, out I wanna, there knows somebody in Utah. Yeah. You can turn them on to the podcast. Come on. Help us out, guys. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, uh, we're just messing around. Well, thank you so much. We really do appreciate all you guys listening uh, uh, to the uh, to the show. It's, uh, you know, it, it, like we've said before, it was it started with Tim and I just talking around the water cooler about Disney and, and bothering all the people that we work with. And uh, <laughs> uh, we figured, well, we'll bother people we don't know that's right we're leaving them alone now so they kind of like it (laughs) that's that's right that's right Uh, but really Uh, real quick too hmm. oh go ahead no i was just gonna say you know anybody out there that's listening just drop us a quick note you know on the website or on our twitters or whatever just let us know where you're at just because we're just very curious and really gives us a lot of uh what positive feedback and it just makes our day yeah it really does it really does it puts a smile on our face we're twittering back and forth and texting back and forth it's crazy uh, it's so crazy we we're in Spain. That's crazy to us. <laughs> We're in Spain. So, uh, Vamos. Thanks for listening. 
<laughs> uh, real quick, too, I got to throw out uh, our buddy, a longtime listener. I think he he started with us uh, listening to the podcast. Keith uh, in Northeast Ohio, you know who you oh, are. Oh, you do, Keith. Um, uh, Keith is the man. And uh, he uh, shot me a, a quick note on Facebook that said, uh, asked us to check out uh, his new Disney food blog. And we'll have the link to that. It's at uh, theaffordablemouse.com uh, forward slash blog. Uh, he says, uh, this. it's about what would you eat if you were in the Magic Kingdom for 24 straight hours? Since we're going to talk about that coming up, what would you eat for 24 straight hours? Oh. That, that <laughs> <laughs> so can I just say, can I just say, so, um, uh, I took a look at that, <laughs> and uh, I love the blog, Keith. It's a great blog, but but buddy, I, I really got a question at three thirty in the morning. Uh, you're going for the chili cheese dog? <laughs> oh, <laughs> that, I, I don't know about a chili cheese dog at three in the morning. I'm not even going to think about it after the past week. <laughs> <laughs> you guys go to town. <laughs> yeah, really. Yeah, you don't even want to think oh, about my. food. Yeah, yeah. So, oh. um, so that's from uh, that's from Keith and uh, everybody. Check out the uh, check out his blog. It is a very good blog. And it is. We cool. love Keith. Thank you, Keith. Yeah, we appreciate that. Thanks so much. Uh, what else we got? Oh, don't we have some uh, Twitter followers we need to mention real quick? Got some nice positive a tweets this week. Absolutely, we sure do, and. Uh, uh, let's see. What do you got? What do you got? Let me get to my Twitter while you, while you tell everybody what you got. Well, let's see. Let's see. I have uh, Matt Holly. He said, uh, you know, at Resort Loop Tim, that's me. I love trying to keep up with the uh, world, and a friend suggested you guys. So word is spreading, Bob. All right. Matt, thank I you very much. That. Yeah, thank you. Uh, thank you to, uh, uh, to Matt's friend for spreading the word. Yes, yes. Appreciate it. I love it. I got to, I got one from uh, uh, Hero Hayes on the Twitter. He's at Hero Hayes. Um, he says, uh, listening uh, to your latest episode now, y'all cover the right topics. I'm a pass holder and go often. Your show helps get in the mood. Uh, and then he threw out another one. Says, side note, I like the fact y'all play background music throughout the show. We got do we we play back, back, background music? I I play it. I hope they I hear it. Know. You don't hear it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I don't hear well. So okay, there you well, go. listen real quick. Listen. There it was. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, I like that one. That's uh, a good one. Very nice. Excellent. <laughs> so, thanks, thanks, Hero Hayes on the Twitter. We appreciate that. Thanks, absolutely. I have another one here. Yeah. This is from Disney Chicago. Oh, I love those guys. Oh, uh, I know. We I love Disney Chicago. I, I brought him up once before because he goes Tim or you know Resort Loop Tim. Thanks for the shout out on, ep on episode twenty one on resortloop dot com. Honored. Way to make me a loyal podcast listener. That's how we reel them in, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> that's, what, that's that's the, that's how we do it, man. That is that's the formula. And, and he's got he's got a lovely looking family. Oh, absolutely! Uh, I think I even mentioned that when I first saw him. I said that was an awesome uh, avatar yeah. there. You gotta love you gotta love the pictures of the family. Uh, I got one that uh, from uh, Ann Ann and Ann in Jersey on the Twitter and in Jersey on, on the Twitter. Okay. Uh, she says, uh, just listen to episode 19. That was the one with my daughter. And, uh, she says she liked my daughter's pick for hotel, uh, which was Port Orleans, French quarter. It's their favorite too. So there oh, you excellent. go. That's very cool. Thank you very much. And in New Jersey, we got a lot of New Jersey fans. I, we appreciate that. That's cool. That's why we love New Jersey. And as of right now, we hate Utah. But, when, but <laughs> no, once we have Utah hey. listeners, we will love them so much. <laughs> <laughs> we don't hate anybody. Remember our last uh, couple episodes ago, you're the, you're the glass half full episode guy. And we are. Uh, we are. We're just having pod. fun. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I have one more here. This really amused me. This is uh, another uh, Twitter from Norman Bates, where, you know, the Bates is spelled with B8S. It was on our oh, yeah. limited time magic show. He said, yeah. will this episode only be available for a limited time in order to fit the theme of the show? <laughs> I loved it. <laughs> yes. Oh. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, that was Alan. That's uh, also Norman Bates on the Twitter. So thank you, Alan. Yeah, he's, uh, yeah we, we like to follow him. He's, he's got a lot of good stuff to say. We appreciate him listening, too. <laughs> uh, and then uh, speaking of the limited time magic, we did get uh, uh, 
quite a bit of feedback on the Living the Time Magic uh, show. So uh, a lot of people, I think a lot of people are just really involved in uh, expecting something from Disney with the Limited Time Magic. But I will throw this out. Uh, a couple of them uh, are dueling Sean's, if you remember, from Facebook. Absolutely. Sean, uh, yes. Sean D. said, uh, uh, Limited Time Magic certainly feels like a dud. But, he says, Disney did say that this was not supposed to make people take special trips to the park, just added magic. So, uh, that's true. That's true. Um, yeah, I guess it's working as advertised. Yeah, uh, but, you know, a lot of the things that they are, they're doing... Uh, they would do normally anyway, so I, I don't know. I'm I'm still waiting for that big, that big kick. Um, now, uh, as I said, I, I wanted to do the uh, Vinylation uh, Easter egg hunt if I if I could have, and uh, Sean W, you know Sean. Oh yes, from uh, Winter Springs, Florida. Uh, he's been a longtime listener as well. We appreciate him very much. He goes way back. Uh, uh, he says uh, the Easter egg hunt vinylmation was regularly priced at twelve ninety five. I estimated around four ninety five, but because uh, that's what it cost for the map to do that. Okay. Uh, but uh, he says uh, the kids really enjoyed the hunt. So uh, again, you know, a lot of times we're seeing it through adult eyes, and maybe uh, you know, maybe it is uh, uh, still very magical for uh, for for children. Some of that stuff. True. True. You know. So. Uh, so that's uh, that. Yeah, that's what we got from uh, uh, our our shout outs, and we appreciate everybody uh, that, uh, that that gets in touch with us. Oh, real clothes. quick, I got one more, Tim. Oh, uh, from R I Disney on uh, Twitter. Uh, I appreciate it. Uh, and go to my go to my Twitter uh, site. You'll see uh, what uh, R I sent me. Um, it was a, a picture of the uh, monorail with uh, the Stark Industries logo on it. Oh, yes. R.I. Disney said, shout out from Stark Industries to uh, Resort Loop Bob. So Excellent. (laughs) That was pretty cool. I really, you know, you're always nervous when you open up pictures that are sent to you. So, (laughs) (laughs) So, but it was very cool. That was all right. Oh, that's awesome. I like that. That was was, was very cool. So, uh, so one of the, one of the uh, extra magic, uh, things was uh was at epcot correct oh yes they were they kicked off the uh, monstrous 24-hour all-nighter announcement yes yes now are you looking forward to that um not necessarily because i'm not able to go yeah <laughs> but i could see where if you were able to go it'd be really exciting i think anytime you can try to do the 24-hour thing i mean this being the second yeah. time it would be exciting how do yeah, you feel? i didn't even see what uh, what day is uh, the twenty fourth? Let me take a quick look at my calendar here because I'm kind of anxious to see what the the twenty fourth looks like for um, uh, May, and that is a Friday night. So, uh, you know, I think they'll get I think they'll get quite a few. Um, Isn't that Memorial people. or uh, Memorial Day weekend? Hmm. It is. Yes, it is. Okay, it's to start a Memorial Day weekend, so so it's going to be uh, packed. Well, you know, uh, true. It's going to be very packed, but what better time to go on a Memorial Day weekend than this one where you're going to get some extra time in the parks? Yeah, yeah. I so at least, at least you'll have that extra time, yeah. yeah it shouldn't yeah. be super, you no, know, July hot, you wouldn't think. No, and I, I can't imagine it being super crowded at 3 in the morning either. So. Um, I don't know, but yeah, anybody out there that happens to go, be sure to report back. Let us know, yeah. Let us know how uh, uh, how you liked it, because uh, we're gonna we'll be there the following weekend, I believe. Um, so I'm just gonna miss out on that. I would like to uh, oh. take part. Just missing out on that one, yeah. That's when it hurts when it's uh, that close. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I will certainly report back as to what uh, uh, what we find for our week there, the limited time uh, week. Of uh, June, I think June 9th, I think is uh, is when we start. Um, but what did you uh, what did you think of uh, them projecting Mike and Sully onto uh, uh, Spaceship Earth? Okay, I'll be honest. When I uh, saw it that night, I kind of saw it on the Twitter thing, and I was kind of like, eh, yeah, not you know, whatever. But then I actually went to the blog to actually see it, and it looked really cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it looked I'm cooler like- than I thought it was going to be, and you know. I, I will say this. 
thank God uh, <laughs> it's not permanent. Oh, it's yes. Just a, it's just a projection. Because, <laughs> uh, you know, they've, they've done things with Spaceship Earth in the past that, that have not turned out well. Uh, at and, least not for the diehard Disney fan. Right. And the castle as well. Let's not forget that uh, uh, cake debacle. <laughs> you had to bring that up, didn't you? Hey, we were talking I, about, you know, icons. Changing icons. <laughs> I just got done with all that therapy to, to <laughs> not, not think about that anymore. And now I'm going to have to think about it again. You haven't been uh, able to yeah, take the, sense. No, no. It's, uh, yeah, that was, that was pretty bad. That was pretty bad. Um, I, I, yeah, I don't know why they want to mess with uh, their icons like that, but uh, yeah, what are you going to do? Yeah, the projection didn't bother me. I mean, like I said, the, when I saw the pictures on Twitter, I thought maybe it was a little bit cheesy, but when I actually saw the, uh, you know, the animation on there, it was kind of cool. Yeah. My question is, and I'm trying to find here. I'm looking at. Uh, it's going to be an all nighter mm-hmm. for that 24 May 24th, 24 hours. It's going to be an all nighter at uh, uh, Disney World and uh, Disneyland in uh, California, as well as uh, California Adventure. That makes it extra cool. Uh, yeah, I tell you, I'd like to do it over there to be at uh, Disneyland um, for 24 hours. I I only got to be there for a short amount of time, so I, I'm looking for another reason to go back. So that oh, yeah. that, that would be very cool. <laughs> um, but uh, they're saying it's going to be uh, a scary good time. I, oh. and I, I'm not exactly sure why they're uh, uh, why they're calling it a scary good time. I know. Um, well, I, I think are, are they doing a monsters parade? I could, uh, they are, DCA, they are doing a, they are doing that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, they're going to, uh, have something special at the uh, laugh floor, I guess, at, uh, at the magic kingdom and, uh, Disney, uh, Disney world. Um, so I, think, I, I, I mean, it, it, it sounds like it's going to be okay, but I'm just, I'm just not sure. I think there'll just be a lot of the monsters from the movie wandering around and being at maybe photo opportunities and that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. Um, now they they do have the um, Monsters Inc. Have you seen the Monsters uh, Monster Rail, the the new monorail? I thought that was kind of cool. I would hate for every monorail to have some kind of wrap on it, but I do like the uh, the Monster Rail. You yeah, know the, the Monster oh, Rail, the Monster Rail. Yeah, <laughs> I, I like it. Now, question for you? Yes, I I do this to you all the time, but this is going to be a short one. It's just one just one question. Oh, okay. <sighs> The the quote unquote monster rail, or the one with stitch on it. Oh, the monster rail! You, you didn't even have to ask. You just like it when I bust on Stitch. I know how you work. <laughs> You're the Stitch hater. You're just projecting it on me. No. Yes, I you love, are. I love Stitch. Liar. I love Lilo and Stitch. <laughs> Lilo and Stitch was one of my favorite movies. You know, I have a place in my heart for Hawaii. So I know you do. Uh, yeah, I I really like that Monster Rail. I think that's kind of cool. Where uh, if you haven't seen it, the Monster Rail, uh, you know, go to YouTube or, or uh, the Disney Parks blog. It's pretty cool. They uh, they the it, it's 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 not overwhelming. Uh, you, you've got the monsters like riding the monorail. It's They're a lot more subtle. Monorail, a lot more subtle than some of the other ones. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, I, I, it's going to be kind of cool. I hope it's still there when uh, when we go in June. Uh, I hope to see that, uh, but uh, we'll see. Cool. We'll see. I know we're going to just miss out. Uh, we're going to be there the last weekend of Star Star Wars weekend, which is always cool. Um, but uh, we're going to miss out on uh, on that. But did you see who's going to be at uh, Star Wars weekend? Uh, Billy D. Billy D, little Lando Calrissian. That's a little bit of a or big name. I put on. Oh, that's that's a huge name. <laughs> huge. As I as I put on our Facebook uh, page, a little Lando in Orlando. Nice. You're so clever. Yeah, not really. Not, <laughs> not really. That was that was pretty lame. I apologize for that. I'll I'll never say that again. Uh, but uh, so that you know. I, I don't understand why they can't get some of the some of the other stars there. I mean, I you understand a Harrison Ford. I mean, he's he's still he's still kind of a big deal. Uh, but really, um, you know, Mark Hamill, 
Uh, I loved him. And, I loved him in Corvette Summer. <laughs> <laughs> I think you and I are the only two people on the face of this planet that have seen Corvette Summer. <laughs> oh, that is so sad. Oh, that's that, why that's, we do this podcast. Yeah. That's it. It's old school. We just went old school. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so one of the other things that uh, that Disney's doing, and this this really doesn't have anything to do with the parks, but uh, Disney, um, what is it? Disney Magazines for Kids uh, has just come out with its uh, Marvel Superheroes magazine. Oh, cool! Uh, for, I, I mean, I don't know. It's fifteen bucks. I don't know if it's worth it. Uh, something to check out. Uh, bring home the mighty Marvel Universe. Save big on Marvel Superheroes magazine. Um, I don't know. That might be pretty cool. I, I think uh, I think I'm going to have to get that for my son. He's a big Marvels fan. Loves the Avengers. Um, so that's uh, that's another another something new that they're coming out with from uh, Buena Vista Magazine. So that's very cool. Uh, I think they're really going to. Uh, I really see them pushing this uh, this Marvel thing as much as they can. Uh, I know they can't do anything in in Walt Disney World. Don't expect to see anything in Walt Disney World. Uh, because of the the contract that they have with Universal, um, yeah, they're very limited but, in Orlando. Yeah, yeah, um, but I I really I can see it happening in in either uh, Disneyland Paris or uh, or Tokyo, uh, Disneyland or even Hong Kong or Shanghai. The new Shanghai could have an entire Marvel's um, theme land, uh, much like probably the Orlando uh, um, Universal Orlando has that entire um, Marvel area over there. Yeah, so. how jealous would we be then? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Then we're... Uh, it's a we're little harder to get to Shanghai. Yeah. Uh, I have a feeling that Mark uh, from Dublin will make it to <laughs> <laughs> Shanghai before we do. Uh, apparently, he has some uh, Asian connections he can get over and uh, and do that. So, uh, But uh, if anybody has any uh, any other information coming from the Walt Disney uh, World company that uh, that you'd like to throw out there you know don't don't hesitate to uh, call us let us know what uh, or call us to text text us look <laughs> facebook us <laughs> e- email us or uh, or facebook or twitter or any of that fun stuff so we're available uh, everywhere we are we are everywhere <laughs> so very cool and i guess i saw you know looking around here that at the studios they're going to have lots of uh Sets to have your pictures taken with the uh, characters from Monsters University. Oh, okay. I mean, so that's kind of cool. Right. Going back to the Monsters thing, that would be fun. That would be fun. My kids love uh, love Monsters Inc. We watch it. Uh, oh my gosh, I can't tell you how many times we've seen that that movie. We just had it on over um, the weekend. Actually, watching a little bit of it. I am I am very much looking forward to uh, to the the second one, the Monsters uh, Inc. University. I think it's going to be a blast. I think so I too. Really do. And- Honestly, I'm not too big of a fan of like the prequels. I don't like things out of order. It's just my nature. Like the whole Star Wars things freak yeah. me out. Yeah, I, I like sequels. Yeah. I understand the concept of the sequels, but prequels. I don't know. But I'm really excited about this one. I am too. I, I think it's going to be great. And uh, uh, speaking of which, uh, uh, sequels anyway. I heard that uh, Iron Man, uh, the the latest Iron Man that's out, um, which it's already over in Europe. Uh, grossed something like 195 million dollars already. Wow! Uh, on its first weekend, so that's not bad. Uh, that's going to be huge. That's not yeah, bad. That's I, I can't wait for that to come as well. So, uh, we we certainly are ready to open up our wallets uh, to the Walt Disney Company anytime they ask. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I tell you what, here's a way. I'm going to throw this out now. Okay. Here's a way. That you don't have to open your your pocketbook. Are you ready? I'm ready. I've got a sweepstakes for everybody. Woo! And it's already up. Woo! This is a good one. This is a good one. But again, it's it's coming up. Uh, it it ends on May sixth. So uh, jump all over this. This one's from Southwest.com. And unfortunately, I, I'm I'm looking, guys. Believe me, we we just talked about how we're we're in so many uh, fifteen other countries, but this one again is unfortunately just for folks in the United States. So, uh, but I'm looking. I'm I'm going to try one that's uh, that's open to everybody. Um, but for now, this one is from Southwest. It is a chance to win a vacation for four 
and experience the magic from Southwest. You get four round trip coach airfares from Southwest, uh, round trip ground transfer, transfer, uh, room accommodations for four at uh, the Walt Disney World Resort, uh, selected by Disney. <laughs> so, um, but uh, you get four five day park hoppers, so that's cool. Mm hmm. And uh, I love this. You get a uh, $500 Disney gift card. Hey. A uh, $300 worth of Disney Photo Pass product. Wow. Which is cool. One character dining experience for your party of four. And one Disney character meet and greet uh, with your party. So it uh, looks like th this is going to be a great uh, sweepstakes for everybody. It's from southwest.com. Like I said, it's already up on our uh uh, website and Facebook, so uh, jump all over that. That one ends May 6th, so get on top of that here uh, uh, pretty quick. So you can't win if you I don't enter. It. That's right. And <laughs> again, like we said, please, if you win something, let us know. We'd love to hear how, how cool it is. So Yes, just report back. That's awesome. That would be excellent. Yeah. So that's all I got to do to, to today in our potpourri show that uh, seems a little scattered, but uh, we're just trying to throw as much stuff at you as, as you, we can. Yeah, kind of a little bit of a catch-up day for us to get a little of the stuff out of the way so we can hit ground running with another episode. Yeah, and and vitamins and uh, and orange juice for you, sir. Oh, and chicken soup. <laughs> and chicken, lots of chicken soup. Oh, yeah. I need something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, I think that'll wrap it up for this show. Remember, you can find uh, me on Twitter at Resort Loop Tim. You can also join us at our website, resortloop.com. And uh, don't forget uh, Facebook uh, forward slash Resort Loop. And I'm at uh, Resort Loop Bob on the Twitter. So uh, please, you know, send us out some uh, some shout outs. We'll give you a shout out. And uh, any information that you have that, that we're missing, please uh, let us know and, and we'll, we will get that out to you. Yes, we love uh, relaying information. Let us know uh, where you're listening to us from. We always like to hear that. Right, and don't forget, uh, don't forget the iTunes. If you can give us a uh, uh, some feedback on there, positive or negative, give us some feedback. Let us know what we're doing right, what we're doing wrong. We appreciate it. Yep, we're just trying to make the show better and uh, more fun for everybody. So, absolutely awesome. Well, uh, until next time, we'll talk to you later. I'm Tim Scott. This has been ResortLoop.com, your gateway to the magic. See you, everybody. Oh, uh, Bob, I'm sorry. All right, here we go. Fading fast. I know. <laughs>